hey guys how you doing how you been so tell me what you want what you really really want oh, tell me what you want what you really really want i wanna i wanna i wanna i wanna how y'all doing so guys mm, mm, mm. remember i told you about that when the weather advisory yesterday how about it's like 30 degrees and it's literally been freezing all day long. I've been freezing my ninny self all day long. Running to the, a thousand and one grocery stores, doing a couple orders, picking up groceries to cook dinner for this boy for his 19th birthday. This is like, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how cold it was today. Like, it's one of them where you like tense up as you're running into the store and running back to your car it was that cold tomorrow i don't know i think it's gonna warm up tomorrow but i'm not going out there i'm not going out there tomorrow i mean i can't come be cooking all day so i'm not going out there so today i just made banana bread and banana pudding and i'm about to make the um sweet potato cake as soon as i get done with um making this video so banana pudding spills i mean um sweet the banana bread smells amazing it's in the oven i went to go get um loaf pans from walmart they were so tiny like i'm like i had to split it i had to get two and split it into two i'm like why are you so damn tiny like i had big loaf pans and they kind of um, wore down, so I didn't want to put nothing in there. I have a um, like ceramic one, but I feel like when I put, um, I cooked in it one time, but it it's like it cooks so much faster, and I don't feel like sitting and watching it wait and seeing, you know, if it's gonna be cooked all the way through or whatever. So I didn't use that. So I just bought two little cheapies from Walmart. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, sweet potato cake i use cooking with carolyn's recipe here on youtube that boy wants it every year for his birthday he loves that sweet potato cake um in the morning i'm gonna make yams macaroni and cheese oven fried chicken and collard greens like i told y'all yesterday and i'm like i don't my cankles are kicking already right if you don't know what a cankle is it's where your calf and your ankle run together and you can't see the bone <laughs> Mine is like that. Well, let me see. Can I? I don't know. I feel like I've always had puffy ankles. <laughs> like always. As skinny as I am, I've always had puffy ankles. And I, I only have this tank top on or cami on because I'm baking. And it's toasty when you're baking. So this is why I have this one. Okay. So, I mean, it's, it's freezing in this room. But everywhere else is warm. Which I did not know this boy was freezing like this this whole time I'm being in here. <laughs> like, boy. I would have been like, hey, I need a space here or something. I'm in here shimmying all night long while I'm trying to sleep. Teeth chattering and everything. It's crazy out here. <laughs> but, um, what was I going to say? Oh, for those of you that was put in the comments how you um want to be consistent too like let's go let's get on this consistency train like why not what more do you have to do than to be consistent don't worry about what nobody else think just don't even care just do what you want to do and always remember only people that aren't doing anything with their lives are going to be the ones that try to deter you from doing something with yours you know what i'm saying like the people just sitting around chilling oh why you want to do that oh you can't do that are you sure you want to do that yes yes i do that's why i don't tell nobody nothing i mean i tell y'all but i don't care if y'all say i'm inconsistent and don't <laughs> no i mean no but y'all actually help me be accountable and help me see that i need to continue on you know what i'm saying so but i never I, I really don't tell people anything because i know what i want to do so i just do it 
like when I wanted to start this, I, um, this YouTube channel, I kind of, um, I don't think I told nobody. I think I just did it because I don't want to hear nobody's mouth. Like, so I'll do it and be like, oh yeah, I do got a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, I got 10,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, I've been on it for like five years. I hate saying that because I should be so much further along, but whatever. Consistency started December 1st. You know what I'm saying? So it's better late than never. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Let's, let's start our New Year's resolution before New Year's. If you're serious about it, let's get up and let's go right now. Because what are we waiting for? Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't stopping my food um, stuff until January 1st. I'm sorry. But when I quit, I'm going cold turkey done with everything. Remember, I just got off of 75 hard. Now, y'all, that's been smashing all year. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can stop now. Okay? This could be your New Year's resolution starting today. But I just got off of 75 days and not eating nothing. So, I'm picking out December, January 1. I'm going back to my beef, butter, and bone broth. And I won't have to worry about a little stupid stuff like this. My bags. Oh, one of you in the chat... One of the guys, I think, told me about what to do for my bags. I think I had vitamin A and retinol. But do you have a specific product? Because I need to know what I can go buy. I can't, I can't, I'm not going to buy the right thing. Because y'all know I'm cheap. Now, if you tell me to get something and it's going to work, and I look it up and people are saying, yeah, it's going to work, then I'm going to get it. Like, um, this is one thing they said, uh, I forgot what it's called, Zo Health or something. I don't know. But it's an eye cream. But now it is $130. I said $130. Let me see what the guy in the chat was talking about first before I go for the $130. But I will do anything to get these bags away. I feel like it would just make such a difference in my appearance. And I wouldn't worry so much about anything. Like when I had on that makeup, you know, I felt... Like, I'm always confident, but it's just a little boost, you know, a little boost. <laughs> but I never want to get to the point where I feel like I can't go out in life without putting on a costume. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with makeup. Um, hair, I, like, I'm over fake hair. I've never been able to wear it, and I wouldn't wear it if I was, because that's just not me. Besides braids. But even then... Like, I'm to the point where I don't care for thick hair because it's like, especially as a chocolate chip, we don't see our hair represented anywhere. Granted, this is kind of messy. You know, it could be tamed more and neater, but we walking around with everybody else's hair on. It's like, well, where's our hair represented? You know what I'm saying? We're ashamed to represent our own hair. So that's another reason why I decided to kind of let go of the relaxer although i will straighten it but it's gonna be my hair that i'm going to straighten i'm not gonna get a wig or weave and straighten it you know what i'm saying because it's like if you always gotta put something on to make you feel confident then something is wrong on the inside of you you know what i'm saying like i'm confident just looking like this put on something cute i wouldn't even care you know what i'm saying but it's like when you gotta put on a full costume, makeup, lashes, lip stuff, uh, hair down your back that ain't yours, would never ever be yours <laughs> in life. Like that's a completely different story. Now if you're sick or, you know, for some reason your hair don't grow, that's another thing. But being obsessed with other people's hair and not accepting of your own, that's a problem in itself. Like... And, and I don't want to be like that, you know. So I'm gonna let this stuff grow out, and I'm um, it looked like this because I didn't braid it, and I was supposed to um, wash it in my brain every time I'm, I don't braid it at night. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna wash it tonight. I didn't wash it tonight, and I woke up looking all crazy. Don't have time to wash it today, so I'm a little crazy tomorrow because I ain't braided because I'm doing all this cooking. <laughs> But um, then put on putting on my hair in it while I'm cooking. Like right? it's all just a mess. But it's just like we have to look like, to take care of our hair. You know what I'm saying? Especially now, cause I was be telling you about that edgeless epidemic. Like back in the '90s, everybody had real hair. You may have a few extensions, but we won't walk around with these wigs like they are 
and everybody had their edges was taking care of their hair up underneath but now they don't take care of their hair underneath them stylists do not care about your hair they don't even want to wash your hair i'm sorry shampoo your hair at nurse i'm nursing school and i've been in so much damn school cosmetology said school said you wash a car you shampoo hair so <laughs> um like they don't even want to shampoo your hair these new stylists they want you to come in shampooed and blow dry and then they do your hair how do I know what kind of products you're using? How do I know if you're getting your hair clean the way it needs to be? Like, that's just lazy. But the thing is, in most of these things, if you're not shampooing hair, stay bored can come in and shut you down. Because it's a hygiene, not hygiene, it's a, um, what's the word for it? Sanitation thing. So if you're supposed to shampoo hair and work from a clean slate. I don't think braiders, like some states, you don't have to have a license to braid. You can just braid. I don't think braiders qualify for that. But stylists with licenses, they're supposed to wash your hair. I'm pretty sure. I'm, and I'm pretty sure there's not one cosmetology um, board, state board, that would approve you not shampooing their hair. So if y'all paying hundreds of thousands of dollars and they be willing to try to how you charge me eight hundred dollars for some braids you ain't even shampoo me condition me nothing and some people want to pay for parts why how you making me pay for parts when you can't do the style without parting my hair like these young stylists are just ridiculous and they don't care about the health of your hair that's the main thing like what are we doing take care of our beautiful hair and the thing about our hair is so many different textures like it curls up when you wet it, it shrinks up draws up and you can straighten it and be long like so many different things you can do with your own hair if you just take care of your own hair but we're so embarrassed of our hair because we've been indoctrinated to believe that our hair is terrible when it's not our hair i'm pretty sure our hair is like I forgot i seen something about it, like it's only hair that grows up towards the sun because we're like you know these great people <laughs> but anyway i don't even know how i got on that but i'm gonna get off now because i gotta go make this cake because time's a ticking all right smile because i love you and remember like smile because you're beautiful <laughs> I love yourself because if you don't love yourself, why would anyone else? Until next time, ta-da!